Here we'll be talking about the probability of the union of two events. So let's take a look at what that means. First of all, we're going to let A and B be two different events. And if the probability of the first event is 0.29 and the second event is 0.43, we have two little questions to solve. What's the probability of either A or B, given that A and B are, are dependent, I'm sorry, are independent, and then the second part is the find the probability of A or B given that A and B are mutually exclusive. We'll look at that in more detail in a moment. All right, so let's take a look at this. Here's a nice thing. We have a formula. For any events, A and B, we can find the probability of A or B as follows. This is a formula. Formulas are nice because all we have to do is understand the parts, plug them in, and get our answer. So let's look at this. Probability of A or B is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So where does this come from? Let's take a look. So here's what we've got. In this case, we've got probability of A or B in figure one. So we compute the probability of both event A in figure two and the probability of B happening in figure th uh, three here. Then we've counted the probability of A and B. Whoops. In other words, we've counted the shaded regions in figure four. Right, if we subtract those out. So we have to subtract these to get that. So if we have the probability of A plus the probability of B, then basically we've got everything shaded. But if we subtract the probability of A and B, then we're going to end up with only the probability of A or B, which would be this. It would just be th these areas. This middle section would be blank. So that's where this formula comes from. Let's look at how we apply the formula, because that's actually the easy part. So we know that the probability of A is 0.29, because we're given that in our problem, and the probability of B is 0.43, and then, of course, the probability of both A and B occurring is just the probability of A times the probability of B. So we just multiply those two numbers, do our calculation, and blam, we're done with part A. Now in part B, we're given that the events are mutually exclusive. That means that they can't both occur. If A happens, B can't. If B happens, A can't. So in other words, the probability of A and B goes to zero. So that makes it super easy because we use the same formula. We plug in what we know and this, because of mutual exclusivity, makes this part zero and ta-da, we're done. If we want to take a look at this Venn diagram to see what that looks like, here's what ha here's the case w of mutual exclusivity, oops, right here. It means they, there's no overlap. If A happens, B can't. Vice versa, if B happens, A can't. Very cool. Have fun.